For this demonstration of Cloak DR, we're going to be accessing the system via the Access Workspaces IP. Here we are looking at the web GUI and we have the mounted share on the desktop. As part of this demonstration, we're going to be playing files back from the storage, also copying data to the storage and then pulling the power out of the primary system, forcing a failover. To show what happens in catastrophic failure and power loss. So let's loop the video and get it continuously playing whilst we fail over. The data we're going to be copying from the desktop is 65 gig of data, a folder called copy in. So let's place that onto the storage at the same time. When the power is pulled from the server, there will be no interruption to data copy and a minor pause in playback. So here the power is being pulled, the primary system is offline, the video then picks up playing again exactly where it left off and continues to be read, and the data has been copied onto the storage. This is exactly what you expect in a failover scenario. We're now working from the secondary system without the knowledge that has actually been switched in the background. One of the major drivers for Cloak DR is to ensure that this is transparent for both the users and also the machines connected to the system. Here the file is still copying and the videos are still playing back directly onto the system. So let's have a look at the web browser. It was previously pointed towards the primary system using the virtual IP and the browser still thinks it is. However, if we refresh the browser, you'll then notice that this is then pushed to the secondary completely automatically. And this is exactly what's happened in the background with the mount. Logging into the browser, we can see the Cloak DR status page. It'll refresh and show up red, showing the error in progress and also show us that the data has been directed to the secondary system. We'll speed up the copy a little bit here as well to get to the end of the copy. Video file still playing back, file finished copying and we're complete. Meanwhile on the Windows system also connected we also have the data being copied onto the storage, the primary system is offline in the background and the data is still copying. As we speed through, you'll be able to see that actually the primary system has now come back online as our engineer has booted the server back up again. The Windows file copy is finished and completed and we can then flick back to the Mac workstation and see what's going on. So let's flick back over to the Mac and we can see that what's happening now is data synchronization. So don't forget, we've copied 65 gigabytes of data from the Mac, plus the data from the Windows that you saw there copied in. So now that the primary system is back online, as we've started it up again after the failure, we have to synchronize that data back. We have to ensure that data is in both places, and this is vitally important. Coming to the end of that copy now, it'll finish up, and the heartbeat will go green to show this. Now that data is completely synced, and our primary system is back online after a complete failure from power loss, we can have a look at the logs and then go back to the interface and see what the situation is. When we get to the interface, it'll actually tell us that this system was originally configured as a secondary, but is currently in a primary role. To reverse this, we need to go back to the direct IP, the management address of the primary system, go into the cloak DR and reverse it. This will then turn the system back to its original configuration. And you'll notice in the background that video clip is still playing even when we reverse the vols back again. And now we have a complete failover, reversed, and Cloak DR has performed an incredible task in keeping the data safe and keeping people working.